I could not find it. It was so hard to find. So y'all been out there buying all of the clear SPF sunscreen sticks and you couldn't buy me one. That's the, that's where it hurts. You know, it hurts. It really does. I'm so annoyed. What up, one guan at to say we are back with another video. It is Minna. Hi. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. And I'm glad that you're watching this video. I'm going to be doing a lot of this because your girl has on the most cute, amazing red claws ever. And I don't do red often. So, you know, I'm really enjoying this. I really am. I'm going to link the necklaces and my nails down below. Oh, and the bodysuit down below in case you are interested. But we are here for a very specific reason and let's talk about it. We are talking all about, the list can go really on and on, but I had to narrow down my favorites at Sephora. And this video is in partnership with Sephora. So there we go there. Thank you very much. So in this video, we are talking all about some of my top favorites at Sephora that you need to shop right now because the holiday savings event is happening right now. Okay, like today, okay, happening now. <laughs> if you watch the video when it launches today, okay? It is now until November 15th, okay? So the 5th until the 15th, I want you to take a look at all of my links down below. And of course, let's talk all about some of my top faves at Sephora. Here we go. Now you already know your girl is a rouge, so I cannot wait to use my rouge discount. But of course, if you are a beauty insider or a VIB, I'll list all the dates down below for you to know when you can actually shop and use your discount. But girl, let me tell you my list, like my wish list of what I wanna buy this year is so long. A lot of it is gonna be fragrances. So we have to start off with some of my fragrances from Sephora. Listen, if you haven't already, first of all, watch the first video where I go over all of the fragrances that I have in my stash and then watch my updated video from a few months ago where I updated you on what I have purchased recently. Now, one of these is a recent purchase that I absolutely love. It is the Lancome La Vie et Belle Soleil Cristal fragrance. It is absolutely fantastic. I talked about this in my video. It is a very mature fragrance, okay? I actually have it on today. I have it on today and I love it. Like I sometimes like to OD on the fragrance, not to the point where you're like choking and stuff, but enough where it's like, yo, wherever you pass, like wherever you go, your fragrance is gonna go. Like <laughs> it's, everyone's gonna know you have on something. They are gonna know that it's expensive. You know what I'm saying? They are gonna know, but not too expensive because you got a discount, okay? You see discount during the holidays, you have event. They are gonna know that it's expensive. They are gonna know that you, like they are gonna know that your shorty, Shorty's mad expensive. You know what I'm saying? Even if you were in fashion jewelry, baby, you are expensive. You gotta sit in that. You understand what I'm saying? Another fragrance that I have been loving, I actually have two of these. <laughs> Why do I have two? I don't even know. Like I bought one, my husband got me one. I was like, I have that already, honey. But that's okay, because I use fragrance day and night. So I guess I can never have too many. I don't know. Ever since I got a little bit of change, baby, I have been treating myself because I used to feel like fragrance was just for special occasions and it wasn't something to use all the time. Time, but now I'm like, I want to live in the lap of luxury. I deserve to treat myself every single day, morning and night. And fragrance is one of the ways that I do that. Giorgio Armani, my way is so fantastic. You have to let me know if you've tried this, if you smelled it, it is just so good. All the influencers were talking about it. And I was just like, what is this manner of new fragrance? Bought it, love it. I have two of them. I'm not mad at it. And then of course we have the Maison Margiela replica fragrance. And this one is Jazz Club, baby. It is a male fragrance as it says at the bottom. But to me, like I explained in my fragrance video, it takes a very strong, mature boss to rock this. I would consider it unisex. And in fact, on Sephora's site, it is considered unisex. This is so strong. This is commanding. This is not to wear at like a baby shower shower unless you just about that life. This is a very, I want to say aggressive, but aggressive is has a negative connotation. It's assertive. It's a very assertive fragrance. Like if you wear this, it's like you mean business. You mean absolute business and you ain't playing. Like you're not going to wear this to go babysit. Oh, you might. I don't know, but this to me means like shorty is serious. You understand? It is a very strong scent. It is a very unique scent. It's a musk. You just have to be about that life. But I love these three. I wanted to share them with you, but I have so many others. Make sure you watch that video. We're going to discuss some home options as well. Now, if you've been here for a long time, then you know I do not play when it comes to fragrance in general, but of course, fragrance in my home. So my house has to smell just as good as me, the person living 
living in it, okay? My husband's the same way, baby. Even Nini is the same way. He's like, mommy, I need my fragrance. Yes, you do, my dear. Let me spritz you with something, you know? We are just all about fragrance and it creates an experience, an ambiance. And what better way to do that than with Forever Mood candles, baby? Listen, the transition was on point. Go ahead and comment let me know because you know it was the bomb. And I didn't even practice that. That was just, that just rolled off the tongue because the tongue is fluid, baby. Yes. <laughs> okay, this candle is so good. Like, I love luxury, but a part of me still be like, yo, that's the good candle. Those are the good candles. Let me not burn them too early, you know? I have purchased so many of these Forever Mood candles and cuffing season is a new acquisition for me. So light, there's a freshness to it. I also love, and I'll link, I'm gonna link all these below. I also love Grown Folks Business. I actually finished that one. It is so strong. It also like commands the room, spreads all over the house with the quickness. Like, you know, there are candles that only are good for small areas. No, these candles like, you need to open up the doors, you know what I'm saying? You gonna get what you paid for, you know? And you gonna get a discount with the holiday savings event. Hello, links below. This is so good. I burned it one time for a short period and I stopped. Cause I was like, wait a minute. It's a special occasion fragrance candle for me. Cause you know, it's full of fragrance. Jackie Ina did the daggone thing. She knows what the girls need in the boys. You know what I'm saying? And we need this. Love cuffing season, love grown folks business. In fact, I'm looking in my stash. I have a lot, like I, I have a lot, okay? And I'm going to buy some more. I'm gonna buy grown folks business in addition to so many other things during this holiday savings event. So let me know if you tried any of the candles and if you have, which scents are your favorites. Now let's talk a little bit about Skincare. I can go on and on and on and on. I can go on and on about skincare, okay? But again, I had to narrow the list down to make it more palatable for you because I don't wanna give you a headache, okay? But when it comes to skincare, let's talk about some of my Sephora favorites, one of which is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Yo, this is some good stuff, baby. This is the Gummy Bear. Now, it's a lip sleeping mask. But if you're like me, you use this day and night. I'm not gonna wait till nighttime to wear this. This stuff is good, okay? It smells good. It is rich. It is also occlusive. So when I wash my face, if I don't wash my lips, which think about it, walk with me here, it's possible to wash your face and not your lips, right? If you're washing like this, for whatever reason, right? When I do that, even if water touches my lips and I if I don't wipe it off, my lip, this lip product still stays on. That means that it's occlusive. It's not gonna just rinse off with water. It stays on, it is so good. And that's why I use it day and night. Nini uses it, my husband uses it. I've gifted it to people. They love it. They're like, you buy it for us. You know, they don't wanna pay for it, they cheap. You know what I'm saying? But I like quality things. Hello, luxury. So I love this so much. I have purchased all of the different, what are they, scents or flavors. I purchased all of them. This is just so good. Don't deprive yourself. Wear this day and night. Of course, wear it at night because it is so good. You'll wake up with such soft skin. You want to scrub all the dead skin off. It is fantastic. If you've been here for any number of days or hours or years, you will know that I've talked endlessly about this lip sleeping mask. It's just that good. Next, we have this blemish balm from Peace Out Skincare. Yo, first of all, I hadn't even heard about Peace Out. And then they reached out and sent me PR and I was like, well, hold on a second. Now, you know that I have a problem area on my lower face for acne. And that means that the acne is hormonal. Well, when they reached out and sent this to me, I started using it on my chin and yo, it works, okay? What I love about it is that it has salicylic acid in it. It's also got nice in mind, hyaluronic acid. All right, so it definitely penetrates the layer of skin, cleans it out, does not make my face feel dry. So on wet or dry skin, take a bit of it and I rub, 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 rub on clean skin, right? Not the, not the makeup. Rub, rub, rub it on my chin and then rinse it off. I like to use this as a targeted therapy in a way. So I'm targeting the specific areas on my face where I have acne. This is not something that I would use on my whole entire face unless I had acne on my whole entire face, but usually it's in certain areas, like the T-zone or like just the cheeks. For me, it's usually the chin. This is good, you gotta try this out. Another product that I love, one of the many products from First AB that I love is their Facial Radiance Niacinamide Dark Spot Serum. Listen, I've talked so much about this. I've ran through so many of these 
literally. And I was glad to find another one because I've gone through so many of them. Niacinamide is a fantastic ingredient that you may wanna put into your skincare routine because it helps to brighten dark spots. It's hydrating and usually it's good for all types of skin. I have rosacea, I've also got dehydrated skin and I have found this to be extremely comfortable. I love it, it works. When I do get my acne spots, the dark spots don't last very long because I'm using this and or another niacinamide type product. Of course, you wanna add vitamin C and all these things and we don't wanna get into that right now, but this is definitely a product that I do recommend to you. Make sure you look at this in the link below. Now, when it comes to washing our face, right, you should be using a pre-cleanse, which you would use after you have makeup on your face and or just SPF, right? So you should be using your SPF every single day and I have some SPFs that I wanna share with you. So when it comes to you washing your face, you wanna make sure you start off with a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm. And one that I really do love is the one from Dermalogica. This is the Dermalogica pre-cleanse. It's got a pump and it goes into the hand and as a clean as a clear liquid then I like to rub that onto my dry face be it when I just have skincare on and SPF or like right now with makeup right I take lashes off I rub that all over my face concentrating on the eyes because you want to get the eyeliner and the mascara and the lash glue off get the hairline to get all that off as well get the lips right a matte lip it's gonna be a lot harder to get off rub all that down it looks and feels kind of crazy because you're like ah my face looks so good how am I breaking all this down right now. And then you take some water on your hand and then continue to rub. The clear liquid turns into a milky like substance, which I always just love to look at. Like chemically, I'm like, oh, that looks so cool. And you just want to rub, 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 continue and continue breaking everything down and then rinse it off and then wash your face. So for a face wash, one of my many favorites is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. And this is for all skin types. It is extremely gentle. It smells like fresh cucumber. I just love this cleanser. It is gentle. It is great if you have dry skin or dehydrated skin. I like to use this without makeup, like first thing in the morning when I wanna wash my wash my face. Usually I don't wash my face in the morning because my skin is dehydrated. So in the morning, my skin's not dirty. It doesn't have to be washed, right? I'm not like wicking up wicked oily, I'm not. So what I do like to use is a cleanser that's gentle. And this one is wicked gentle. It almost feels like it's adding hydration to my face. So I will wash, I say like this because it's not stripping my face. Okay, so I'll cleanse, let's say cleanse. I'll cleanse with this and then move into my skincare with SPF and then go about my day. So we talked about Peace Out Skincare with the blemish balm for the chin that I, I use for my chin. Another product that I've been using is this Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. Listen, BHA is an ingredient that you wanna have in your skincare if you have clogged pores, if you've got blackheads, whiteheads, you know, just sometimes people will ask me, I feel like my pores are large, what should I do? Well, if the pores are large and they're filled with a lot of sebum, right? A lot of oil and just gunk and stuff. You want to be using a BHA product on your skin. Once or twice a week is great to start out to see how your skin reacts to it. It's going to go beneath the first layer of the skin to really penetrate and clear out the gunk that is in your pores. This product is fantastic. I use it only where I need it. So only where I get the breakouts. If I'm having breakouts on my forehead, I take a little bit of this on a cotton pad and I'm cleaning it off when my skin is clean, right? Clean your skin first, cleanse it, all of that. And then use this. If I have breakouts on my chin, I've used this as well. It is good. Also on IG stories, I talked about how I was going to get ahead of my breakout by applying a product like this or the Peace Out skincare product in the areas where I normally break out to get ahead of the game. Like if I know that I always get breakouts on my chin, why wait for the breakout? Just keep the area clean. And I've been doing that and I can't lie. Y'all gotta tell me outside of my rosacea breakouts, that's separate. Okay. That's on the cheeks and the forehead. That's separate. Okay. On my chin, have you been noticing breakouts like you used to? Come on, talk about it. Comment and let me know. Your girl has not had nearly as many chin breakouts as I used to have. So getting ahead of the game does make a difference, okay? Definitely wanna have that in your routine. Another product that I like is this Ordinary, well, from The Ordinary, Hyaluronic Acid 2%. This one also has B5 in it. This is great. I love hyaluronic acid just in general, right? In addition to niacinamide, in addition to vitamin C, and it might be confusing to you, but make sure you watch my skincare videos both here and on IGTV. 
IGTV. I talk a lot and watch my IG stories. I talk about all of these products in different ways all of the time, okay? But not to confuse you, let's discuss hyaluronic acid by itself. It's a hydrating product. It draws in moisture. So you wanna put this on after you've cleansed, but before your moisturizer. This one in particular is unique because it's like, how do I explain it? When I put it on, right, let it sit. You can't rub it too much because it creates what I feel like a film over the face. And I've done a few layers of this. Honestly, when I've broken out with rosacea and my skin has been raw and just irritated, I've run to hyaluronic acid. Like I stop all of my treatments, unless it's the prescription that I have from the doctor, and I just focus on hydration. Hyaluronic acid is definitely a product that you want to have in your skincare routine morning and night. It is great for all skin types. It is just a must. Now, in addition to the liquid exfoliants, right, you've got products such as this one from Dermalogica. This is a mini version of their daily microfoliant. This one is so cute. And this is a travel size version of it. So it's perfect for you to take with you on the go, obviously, when you're traveling. So inside of this, you get a month's supply of the product. I have this and I have the full size version of it. Both are great. Even when I've had my breakouts and I'm on the mend, but my skin is starting to shed because that's just the life cycle of like my my rosacea breakouts, right? I've used this and it's been gentle. So what I like is that although it is both a physical and an enzyme scrub, it really, at least for me, skincare is personal, take your time, feel things out. But I love this product because it's a daily micro foliant. You can use it every Every single day and usually you shouldn't experience any kind of irritation to it but it's a new product give it a shot add it into your skincare process or routine you know slowly and see how your skin responds to it but I really do love it pour some of it onto your hands the powder take some water or like put onto wet hands make it easier and your hands are already wet rub it together it becomes like a paste you can make it really thick or kind of runny really want to make it so it's a little bit runny and rub it onto your clean face Clean face, okay, not your face with makeup on it. Wash your face already, right? Do your cleansing balm or cleansing oil, cleanser, clean your face off. Then you wanna use something like this. It really, really works so well. Makes the skin feel super smooth, but literally the minute you wash it off, it is that good. And on to SPF, girl, like I've mentioned several times, everybody needs SPF, including you. So I want you to come and let me know if you have on SPF today. If you're watching the video in the evening time, let me know if you wore SPF today. I wanna know. Snitch on yourself, girl. Let me know what you've been doing, okay? If you've been here for a while, you have heard me talk about the Shiseido Clear Sunscreen Stick with SPF 50. Listen. It's the ease for me. This is just so easy to use. It's a chemical sunscreen. I don't have any issues wearing a chemical sunscreen. I prefer it because there is literally not going to be any white cast on your face. I love this so much. You just twist it up a little bit, rub it onto the face all over. You can also put this on your body too, but it's more easily applied onto the face for me versus the body. So great, okay? It's water resistant, 80 minutes. Like I said, SPF 50. You wanna be using at least SPF 30. This one's great because it is 50. I love this. I know many of you have purchased this because of me. <laughs> like, and the issue that I'm having is you purchased it, right? But while you were at it, you didn't grab me one. And when I went to go buy me some more because my husband keeps taking mine. He loves this because it's so easy. He takes them all the time. So I was like, boom, let me go ahead and re-up. You feel what I'm saying? And I could not find it. It was so hard to find. So y'all been out there buying all of the clear SPF sunscreen sticks and you couldn't buy me one. That's the, that's where it hurts. You know, it hurt. It really does. I'm so annoyed. This is really good, okay? Additionally, I have also been loving the Super Goop SPF 50 lotion, okay? There are several Super Goop SPFs. I love the Everyday Lotion. I have already finished it. In fact, I have the, I've got a big tube that they sent me and that can be used on face and body. It's huge. It's in my beach bag. Dang it. Okay, I didn't grab it, but it's really, really good. That one, it, that one does, rub, it, it looks white when you first rub it on, but then work it into the skin, let it absorb, looks clear. So I love that one. And I also like the Shiseido Clear Stick SPF 50. Gonna have all the links down below. Make sure you take a look. Boom, ow. All right, all right. Now let's talk about makeup. You heard Sephora Collection, okay? Sephora Collection is having 30% off now. So you already know, give it a little shake, 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 shake. 
Shake, 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 shake your booty. You already know, I love the best skin ever long wear foundation. This stuff is good, okay? I've used different shades, and you know how in the summertime we get darker? We've discussed this. In the winter time, we get lighter, or if you will, you get back to your normal skin tone. It, it doesn't matter, okay? so. I've used different shades of this. 59N, this one is 63P, and I've made it work. You've seen the video. Like, we've worked it out somehow, right? Like, I think I just am just like that talented. That's like so good. This looks so good. I normally don't like natural finish foundations. I know, I know, don't throw tomatoes. But this year, I have really been coming out from behind the rock that I was under, and I've gained a greater appreciation for natural finish foundations. This one is good. The coverage is fantastic. I've got two videos on it. I've talked about this, okay, a number of times. You already know what it is. 30% off the whole entire Sephora collection, baby, okay? That's lips, eyes, face, makeup. Well, they even got candles, honey. I'm burning a candle right now. You feel what I'm saying? So go ahead and take a look at the Sephora collection liquid foundation. I also wanna talk to you about some of the brushes. You've been seeing me use these or whatever. Now, I understand I'm in the presence of company. I should have washed my brushes, but I like to just keep it real. And I didn't have time. <laughs> okay, and now we got brushes, honey. Well-loved. Listen, I guess I should have washed these, but I wanted you to see that they're well-loved, well-used. Okay, they come in handy for a lot of different reasons. I have been using these every single time that I do my makeup. If you've watched my YouTube videos in the past, you've heard me discuss these brushes. Now, this brush right here is the Sephora 70 brush. It is a flat kabuki. I love it to apply foundation, particularly my NARS Soft Matte Foundation, which is fantastic. Okay. I love to apply the foundation onto the back of my hand. I take this onto the foundation itself, and then I, I guess we call this blot, stipple, pounce, whatever. I'm putting it onto my face in this manner. You may see me put like, like wipe it on, but that's not how I apply my foundation on my whole entire face. I more so use this manner to do it. And what I love is that this is so densely packed that it's not going to soak up your foundation. Yes, you're gonna get foundation that tra travels a little bit far down, but not too deep. It's not the kind of brush that's going to soak up your foundation. So you're gonna get the payoff you're looking for, okay? Love this, well used. I've got two of these. It's well made, no shedding issues when I wash it, great. You wanna make sure you get this. And don't forget, Sephora Collection is 30% off, including these brushes, baby. The other brush is the number 56 brush. Now this one is interesting because of the shape, it's narrow but fluffy. I love to use this to apply my cream bronzer, which, you know what I'm saying? While we're here, let's just get into it, okay? This is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks out freestyle cream bronzer and the shade is Toffee Tees number seven. Fenty, gosh, you giving us a whole mouthful, hi. So what I like to do is take this number 56 brush and pounce it into here. This is like a real raggedy because it's been really used all the time, every day. Pounce, 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 pounce. You've seen this in my videos. And then I go under my cheekbone to highlight my, I almost wanted to say highlight my cheekbones, but it's not a highlight, it's a contour. It's a bronzer. Okay, we're not gonna get into the technicalities of it all, okay? This is a bronzer, obviously, like given the name, but <laughs> it does create a shadow, but I wanna confuse you. We're not here to get into all the techni technicalities of it all. We're not here for techniques, okay? We're here just to talk about the actual products. So I put it here onto the cheek, the hairline, yes, of course. I take leftover and get it down my nose. This product is fantastic. Love supporting Fenty, black owned, why not? This is obviously well loved. We got a hole in the middle, honey. I barely finished products like this is a shocker obviously well worth it I use this brush the number 56 to achieve that and then of course we have the number 59 brush baby now this brush I use to apply my powder bronzer or powder contour I know, could be a little bit confusing, but this is the Pro Powder Brush. So you can use this for your face powder. You really could use this to apply under eye powder if you wanted, you just are not gonna be able to get into the corner here. But if you wanted to, I suppose you could like make it work. But this is a powder brush, nonetheless, I love to use it. The shape is just so cute and it works to set my either bronzer or my contour. Love to use that. Ooh, baby, baby, another foundation that your girl 
girl has been in love with recently is the Lancome Tantito Ultra Wear. Hold on, there's more to it. Up to 24 hour color wear and comfort transfer resistant. Ow, let's talk about it, okay? I wear the color 555 Suede C. Okay, this foundation is fantastic. It is a little bit dark on me. It was perfect in the summertime. I know that as the cooler weathers are going to visit us, you know, I'm going to have to switch over to different foundations or pick up a lighter color in this one because I do like it, yo. I do like it, yo. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this. I know you have. This is one of the foundations that I just hadn't had for so long, but it always came up whenever I would ask people for their recommendation foundations. It was just always on people's lists. And when I finally got it this summer, I was like, dang, where have I been? Where have I been? Such a problem. Wouldn't you agree? It is just that good. It is just that good. Good, honey. You know we need a good concealer, baby. And I have been dogging out this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Amand, baby. I use this under my brows, you know, to clean it up, make it look beautiful, make the brow bone pop. Do you see that? Yes, you do. Should I come a little bit closer? Do you like that? <laughs> This is just good, honey. Get you a flat synthetic brush. You know what I'm saying? Rub it in there and just detail under the brows. I don't carve the top of my brows, but if you do, go ahead and get you not a light color, not a color to highlight. Go ahead and get you a color that matches your skin tone, okay? Go ahead and do that. Now, you are gonna need to clean your brushes, okay? And I love to use the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. Listen, this is the travel version and it comes with the, look, it's all run down, girl. I use this, okay? I use it at home. It's for travel, but I use it at home, honey. It comes with this container, which is perfect. Pop it open, pour some of this inside. You don't need a lot. It smells like vanilla. It dries fast. It is great for cleaning brushes on the go. Let's say you don't have 15 eye brushes and you <laughs> need to use a few of them for more than one reason. You wanna have a brush cleaner like this. You can clean your brushes as you're doing your makeup, wipe it off on a paper towel, and keep on going and not have to go out and purchase more brushes if you can't or don't want to. I have tons of brushes and I still like to use this girl because again, it dries fast, it smells good, it cleans the brushes well, and it's just perfect. So I have the travel version of it, although I have the full size version. And what I do is I refill it into this and keep this in my makeup case, which is, just makes things easy. You know what I'm saying? And one last thing I wanna go over is the Rare Beauty Girl. You have heard me talk about this ad nauseum. Okay, and it's because, first of all, this is empty. Girl, we are on our last leg. Miss Selena Gomez, what's going on? We on our last leg, baby. I need to buy a new one, hold on. This is the Rare Beauty Li Liquid Luminizer in the color Flaunt, baby. I just love this so much. I have retired from powder, pressed powder highlights. I no longer want to have any dealings with pressed powder highlights. I only want to and plan to use liquid highlights for as long as I will live, unless something new comes out, but I can't imagine anything better than this, you know? I can't imagine it. This is that good. This color is fantastic. I have it on right now. Like, hello, how are you today? I've got it here above the cheek. Just look at the awesomeness. I've got it here above the lip. Look at the awesomeness. I've got it down the middle of my nose. Look at the awesomeness. It's just amazing. I apply this onto the back of my hand. It does warm it up a little bit. I take my damn sponge and I pounce. I do, I pounce it around and then I pounce it onto the areas of the face where I would like for the product to sit. I love it, it's great. Listen, I've talked about that in every single video that I've done since it came out here on YouTube and on IG. That's how much I love that product, girl. If you're scared of liquid luminizer, girl, don't be. Don't be, give it a try, okay? Links to all of these products are in the description box. Make sure you shop now because the sale is happening now. Don't waste time. If you like me and you like a bargain, and you need to shop now. Don't waste my time, don't waste your time, okay? I'm glad you watched the video. Give it a thumbs up. Also comment and let me know what you plan on buying. If you already shopped, comment and let me know what you shopped. I like to keep a rolling wish list of Sephora items. Y'all be putting me on to some stuff. So you gotta let me know what you're thinking about or what you already got because I might want some suggestions, all right? Thanks for watching the video and we'll talk in the next one. Bye.